Hey everybody, John here. Welcome back to Catbird Hill. So, I did a short video uh, maybe a week or so ago showing you this mess. Uh, we have a bunch, and I've said this before, we've had a bunch of very old, declining, and largely now dead silver maple trees on this property that have been one by one falling apart. Uh, I'm having a tough time keeping up with them. Uh, you know, I think it was a about six or eight months ago, I had a huge one fall behind the house. Uh, you saw me buck that up into saw logs, but uh, this just came down maybe a week and a half or so ago. So let me give you a little tour here and see, let you see a little more closely what, what we're dealing with. So this is the remnants of the limb that fell. You can see we've got the other end of it there and if you see here uh, on the you can probably see on the stump here that's where it broke off but this this is a multi leadered silver maple uh, it's it's really on its last leg <laughs> it's it's pushing out a little bit of growth a little bit of foliage here on this side but it's it's largely dead so what I'm going to do today is we're going to just do some some cleanup of this limb, you know, the wood in here it probably is not great. I mean, this has been dead for a little while. But what I what I do is I have neighbors, great neighbors on one side. They love to burn their, uh, wood in their fire pit. So I'm just going to uh, section this up into uh, firewood logs and just give it to them for their fire pit. It's you know, it'll burn fast. It's just something that they can really enjoy using. I am going to take off. Uh, this remaining leader here, you can, see, you can really see, I think the sun's illuminating it pretty well. You can see the woodpeckers are already starting to do their number on it. But I want to just take that down, and ultimately this whole tree is going to have to come down, as is the one that is sort of behind the, uh, the Kubota L2501. This is a much larger tree. Um, it's it's still pushing out some some growth, but it it's <laughs> it's uh, its end result is going to be about the same as the one I just showed you. It's it's slowly losing branches. You can see, um, you know, some of the ends of these branches up here are you know devoid of any foliage at all. Uh, look at the look at the base of that tree. That's probably about almost five and a half feet uh, in diameter. So that's going to be an interesting takedown. I have a good friend of mine who has access to, uh, I guess you'd call it like a man lift. It, it's a pretty good size. When the problem we've had here is everything has been soaking wet. <laughs> we've had so much rain. We've had probably at least an inch, inch and a half of rain almost every week now for the past couple months. And it's just beginning to dry out. So I don't want to be bringing that kind of equipment down here. Uh, when everything is soaking wet. So what we're going to do is I'll get the camera repositioned. We'll probably start by sectioning up this guy here. Um, you know, do a couple of loads of this in the uh, in the bucket of the tractor. Take it back to my neighbor, and then we'll come back. The very last thing we'll do is we will take down that remaining piece there. Um, the other piece, the other, the other limb that's really dead, as you can kind of see it, as I, you know, the camera's panning up there. If that happens to go, it's going to go into the creek. So uh, it's, um, it's not a priority right now. I'm, I'm struggling to keep up with grass cutting. So we're going we're gonna to let that one be for now. But I, will, I do want to remove this dead, um, this dead leader here, the one where it snapped off. So stay tuned. We'll get cutting soon. We'll showcase uh, a new saw. Uh, actually, it's, it's an old saw, uh, but it's going to be new to you guys. It's something It's probably one of my favorite utility chainsaws. So stay tuned.
that one pretty quick. Whew. Not exactly the best chainsawing weather. It's really not that hot. It's about 82 degrees, but it's very humid. And uh, even with short sleeves, I'm still soaked. And uh, thank God I've got my soaker rag on my head here. And chaps don't make it any cooler. So I'm sitting in exactly where this bench would normally be when uh, Beth and I come down here to relax and enjoy the, the property and enjoy the creek. And I'm pretty sure, usually Beth sits on this side, I sit on this side. If this thing had fallen uh, when we were here, I probably would have gotten the brunt of it on my leg, on my knees, based on, on where the impacts were on the ground. So, you know, again, uh, I'm preaching this, but, you know, I probably don't practice it often enough. You, you just constantly have to be checking your trees when you live uh, on, on a wooded property. You know, the, 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 the decay and decline in the trees comes up so quickly, it's insidious. You know, you're, you're busy looking down because you're cutting grass or you're doing jobs on the ground, and, and sometimes we forget to look up. I, I really should have caught this sooner. I would have, I would have taken this branch out uh, a long time ago if I had paid more attention. But the bottom line is we're, we're okay. We've got a nice little collection of firewood. I'm really surprised. Um, it's... It's light, of course, this has been dead. I mean, I would call this standing dead wood. It's, you know, it's light because it's obviously been dried out, but it's, it's pretty hard. Um, it's pretty dense. This is maple, maple's a hard wood, but these are really nice firewood chunks. And I cut, if you notice, I, I was cutting the rounds smaller, probably in the 14 to 16 inch range. And that's just because I'm gonna give all this to my neighbor, their fire pit, um, isn't real big so I think you know when they split this up this will work really well I, I do want to do a little bragging though uh, you can't do a chainsaw video without doing a little bit of bragging so the saw I was using as I showed you guys at the end was a steel MS actually not an MS <laughs> a steel um, it's before MS came about a steel uh, 026 Pro that has been ported. Uh, I did not port it. I, I bought it from a guy who, who's a master saw porter. But this this particular saw, um, I absolutely love, and and I'll I'll tell you why. Um, even even the non-ported version of this is an amazing saw. Uh, stock, you know, stock. This thing is really good. This is just such a light, maneuverable chainsaw. It's it almost feels like it's just an extension of your hands. I, I don't know what the weight of this is compared to the uh, the newer version, which is the MS-261. I don't know if this is lighter or heavier. I put a 20-inch bar on this. It's the steel Rollomatic light bar, uh, which makes it even more maneuverable and comfortable to use. 20-inch, I changed the, the rim sprocket to a 3H7 pin. Normally, this is a... Uh, a 325 pitch sprocket but the saw being ported has no trouble I think as you can see handling a 20 inch bar with a 3 8 um, sprocket on there so I'm just very very happy with this setup um, I like this better I've cut with a 261 I've done a fair amount of cutting with a 261 not mine but uh, a friend's and I, I actually prefer this I'll take this all day long over the 261. For me, the ergonomics really work well. I just think this is like one of these all around saws. I mean, I wouldn't run anything head a longer than a 20 inch bar on it, but you know, you can see I'm cutting through maple that's probably 12 to 14 inches in diameter, no trouble at all, uh, never bogs down. Of course, it's ported, so I wouldn't expect it to. But anyhow, just kind of a little um, bring and brag session here on the steel. 026 Pro, just a great saw. If you ever come across one of these, obviously they're going to be used. Uh, definitely consider it. I think it's a tremendous value, um, you know, and I, I like it better than the new version. So I think that's it. I got a lot of cleanup to do here. Um, I've got the tractor, and so we're just going to literally take all this stuff right over to my neighbor's. He's got an area 
near his fire pit where uh, I've, you know, he's been so grateful for me to bring stuff over. So I just dump things there and he takes his time and splits it as he needs to. So I think this stuff is, I don't know if it's ready to burn right away, but it's, it's pretty darn close. Anyhow, thanks again for watching. A little chainsaw action today um, in between rainstorms. We're supposed to get rain again tomorrow. So I want to get out here and get this cleaned up because this is preventing me from cutting the grass in this area. So thanks for watching. Please, if you haven't done so, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. We need those thumbs up to get the channel moving. Uh, if you recall a long, a long time ago, maybe nine months or so ago, I did a video where I made a promise that when we reach 500 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. So I'll probably uh, make a short video sometime later this week, just as a reminder what that giveaway is going to be. You know, here at Catbird Hill, we keep our promises. So when we reach 500 subscribers, there's going to be an awesome giveaway. Um, it's something I think that, you know, anybody getting it who likes, who likes the content that we produce here, I think you're going to be delighted if you win this, um, win this prize. So until next time, John again from Catbird Hill, take care.